Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 2, Polynomials, question number 18 to 20 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. The first sections, achiever section, HOTS, high order thinking skill, question number 18. If alpha and beta are the zeros of quadratic polynomial, fx equals to x square minus 9x plus 20, then match column 1 with column 2. Column 1, a square alpha square beta plus alpha beta square equals to. So if I take alpha beta common, that is alpha plus beta. Alpha beta multiplied by in bracket alpha plus beta. Now if this is the quadratic, you can say polynomial, then we know the relationship between zeros and the coefficient for quadratic polynomial. Sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta equals to minus b. b is the coefficient of x. So it is minus 9 here it is minus sign so it is minus b means plus 9 by a a is x square coefficient that is 1 so alpha plus beta equals to 9 and product of zeros alpha into beta equals to c by a where c is the coefficient means constant so 20 by a a is 1 so it is alpha beta equals to 20 let's put the value here alpha into beta is 20 and alpha plus beta equals to 9 so 20 into 9 180 180 means b so b is correct d is out b is correct b is correct so op this option b is out let's check let's find out for second one one upon alpha 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta equals to so if i take lcm here it is alpha plus beta so alpha plus beta is 9 and alpha by beta is 20 so 9 by 20 9 by 20 means d this a is out so a is out let's find out third one inside the bracket alpha minus beta whole square plus 1 upon 1 by 2 alpha beta let's simplify say alpha minus beta whole square correct this will be written as alpha plus beta whole square so here middle term is uh, let us sim let us write here so first alpha square minus 2 alpha beta plus beta square plus 1 upon 2 alpha beta now if i want to write down this as if i write down alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square i have to subtract minus 2 alpha beta and this already minus 2 alpha beta is there then plus 1 upon 2 alpha beta this will be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta plus 1 upon 2 alpha beta now alpha plus beta that is 9 square so 81 minus 4 times alpha into beta so 4 times 20 80 plus 1 by 2 times alpha beta that means 40 so it is 1 plus 1 by 40 that means 41 by 40 so 41 by 40 means a C is out so answer is D let's on alpha for academic let's understand this also alpha raised to 4 plus beta raised to 4 so this I will write as a again alpha square plus beta square whole square minus 2 alpha square beta square now alpha square plus beta square that's what here it is so this will be written as 
alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 times alpha square beta square. Now alpha plus beta that means 9 square 81. 9 square is 81. So this is again square. 81 minus 2 alpha beta. 2 alpha beta means 2 times 20. So 2 times 20 is 40. Whole square minus 2 times alpha into beta square that is 20 square equals to 81 minus 40. So 81 minus 40 is 41 square minus 2 times 20 square that is 400 and 2 times means 800. Now 41 square is 16 1681 minus 800 equals to 881 that means C. So answer is C. So options D is the right answer. Next. If alpha and beta are zeros of quadratic polynomial fx equals to 3x square minus 4x plus 1. Read this statement carefully and select the correct options. Statement 1. The value of 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square equals to 10. So first, this quadratic polynomial fx equals to 3x square minus 4x plus 1 alpha and beta are the zeros so sum of zeros equals to minus b so minus b means minus 4 a coefficient of x that is minus 4 and outside is minus therefore it becomes plus 4 by a a means 3 so it is 4 by 3 product alpha into beta c by a that is 1 by a a is 3 so alpha beta is 1 by 3 now we want to find out this so this can be written as say if i divide alpha beta alpha plus beta by alpha beta then it is 1 by beta plus 1 by alpha correct let let us write down here so, uh, alpha plus beta by alpha beta equals to 4 by 3 by 1 by 3. This is equals to 1 upon beta and this is equals to 1 upon alpha equals to 4. Let's square. So, alpha plus beta by alpha beta and then let us square equals to 4 square. No, we don't want to do this. We will say straight away here square. So it will be 1 plus beta square plus 1 plus alpha square plus 2 times 1 upon alpha beta equals to 16. Now this is what we have to find out. So let's take this term on the right hand side. So equals to 1 upon alpha square plus 1 by beta square equals to 16 minus 2 times 1 upon alpha beta. Alpha beta is how much? 1 by 3. So 1 upon 3. Therefore it is 16 minus 2 into 3. 16 minus 6 equals to 10. So 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon beta square equals to 10. It is 10. Therefore, the given statement is correct. True. Let's check statement number 2. The value of alpha raised to 4 plus beta raised to 4 divided by alpha square plus beta square. Correct. So, first, let's rem let me erase just one second. See here, let me erase first the 
product uh, the, the sum of the zeros alpha plus beta we found out as 4 by 3 and product it was 1 by 3 statement 1 was true now let's find out this value so alpha raised to 4 plus beta raised to 4 will be written as alpha square plus beta square whole square minus 2 times alpha square beta square middle term divided by alpha square plus beta square so this will be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times alpha beta now again numerator I will write as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 times alpha beta whole square minus 2 alpha square beta square divided by denominator remains same that is alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta let's put the value of product as well as sum of the zeros so alpha plus beta is 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 whole square minus 2 times 1 by 3 so it is 2 by 3 that square minus 2 times alpha beta whole square that means 1 by 9 by alpha plus beta alpha plus beta whole square that means 4 by 3 whole square minus 2 times alpha beta that means 2 by 3 let's simplify so 4 by 3 whole square that means 16 by 9 minus 2 by 3 whole square minus 2 by 9 divided by 4 by 3 whole square means 16 by 9 minus 2 by 3 let us simplify equals to 9 say so 16 by 9 minus 2 by 3 so first let us solve that so 9 is the LCM whole square so here I will multiply by 1 here I multiply by 3 so 16 minus 3 to the 6 minus 2 by 9 here again 9 is the LCM so multiply by 1 multiply by 3 so 16 minus 6 equals to 10 by 9 whole square minus 2 by 9 upon 10 by 9 correct now let us further solve this so 10 by 9 so 10 by 9 whole square equals to 100 by 81 minus 2 by 9 that is our numerator upon 10 by 9 equals to 81 is the LCM in the numerator. So I will multiply here 1 here by 9. So 100 minus 9 to the 18. 9 to the 18 by 81 divided by 10 by 9. Now just simplify. Say 100 minus 18. So how much? 100 minus 18 is say 2 and then 80. So 82 by 81 divided 10 by 9 so 9 nines are correct so now I am writing here so 82 by 9 further divided by 10 so 10 9, 5 to the 10 this is 41 to the 82 therefore it is 41 by 45 while it is minus 41 by 45 hence the given statement is false so statement 1 is true statement 2 is false so answer is B next fill in the blanks if one of the zeros of the polynomial fx equals to 
k square plus 4 x square plus 13 x plus 4 is reciprocal of the other then k is equals to blank so we have to find out the value of k so one of the zeros of the polynomial let's say alpha is reciprocal of other that means alpha equals to 1 by beta so alpha beta equals to 1 and alpha into beta that is means product of 0 which is c by a so c is 4 and a is k square plus 4 equals to 1 therefore 4 equal to k square plus 4 4 4 cancel so k square equals to 0 and we have to find out the value of k so k equals to 0 so p equals to 0 and p equals to 0 1 is out so either b or d next if one of the zeros of polynomial x square minus px plus 18 is twice the other so let's say alpha and beta is twice the other so that means 2 alpha they are the you can say zeros of this polynomial then we have to find out sum of zeros so sum of zeros means alpha plus 2 alpha equals to alpha plus beta beta equals to 2 alpha so alpha plus 2 alpha sum of zeros is minus b by a so that means p this is minus p so minus b becomes my plus p by a means 1 so it is p so 3 alpha equals to p and alpha becomes p by 3 now if i take product so alpha into 2 alpha equals to c by a c is 18 by 1 that means 18 so 3 alpha square equals to 18 uh, sorry 2 alpha square equals to 18 therefore alpha square equals to 9 so alpha equals to plus or minus 3 now what we have to find out we have to find out the sum of zeros so sum of zeros means we have alpha plus 2 alpha and alpha plus 2 alpha equals to p correct alpha plus beta equals to p that's what we have find out and p equals to 3 alpha therefore it is 3 times plus or minus 3 so it is plus or minus 9 so either 9 or minus 9 that is the sum of zeros correct so either option b or d both are correct so now let's go for third one if one of the zero of polynomial is same as nine times let me erase first so this is out this is out this is zero zero this nine or minus nine okay let's solve third one if one of the zero of the polynomial is same as nine times of the other of this then product of zeros is so one of the zero that is alpha and beta is nine times alpha nine times of other so nine times alpha we have to find out the product of zeros so product of zero alpha beta equals to alpha beta equals to c by a c by a means r by 3 this is what we have to find out fine so first if i take sum alpha into beta this becomes 10 alpha plus 9 alpha becomes 10 alpha and sum of zeros sum of zeros is minus b by a so that is plus 10 by a means 10 by 3 correct that is the sum so therefore alpha equals to 1 by 3 that is the alpha okay and here the product product is alpha into 9 alpha equals to r by 3 so 9 alpha square equals to r by 3 
Now alpha equals to 1 by 3. So 1 by 9 equals to R by 3. Therefore 9, 9 cancels. R equals to 3. And if R equals to 3, this polynomial becomes plus 3. And if we want to find out product of zeros, product of zeros is alpha into beta. That is R by 3. And R is 3. So 3 by 3. That means 1. So 1 minus 1 is out. So D is out. So answer is B. So that's all about the solutions of question number 18 to 20. Chapter number 2, polynomials of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any queried out suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the rate gmail.com. That is v i w t h a l m a c a d m y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.